This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part one of the exciting interior architectural design tutorial, where we will be making a bathroom complete with textures, crown molding, um, walls, tubs, um, toilets, shower racks, tiles, everything. I've actually taken some pictures of my own bathroom. Um, you know, side views, outlets, um, tiles, shower curtains, crown molding, door hinges, everything. We will be making everything you see in these pictures. Um, there's some textures for the walls. I even went upside down to do the crown molding so we can get kind of a spline going in there. I have the dimensions here so I'll make it as perfect as possible. Um, in the end, we should have um, the complete bathroom, um, an in interior lighting setup, um, and textures. So let's get started. Go into the let's see here front viewport, Alt B, Files, Browse to the um, reference images. I'm going to post them all on my photo bucket channel, which you can go to by opening uh, your browser, typing in Eternal Blade Photo Bucket. Okay, click the first one, and you should just get some one of my old images here. Just click Eternal Blade, and this will bring you right to my main page with all my images. Um, and I'll post the reference images as soon as I post the first tutorial. So we're going to start off by getting the um, crown molding. So press open, match bitmap, lock, zoom, and pan, OK. Let's maximize this, turn the grid off. Here we go, we have a perfect crown molding picture. So, go to line, click shift and hold, drag down, and then just generally outline the shape here. Don't have to make it perfect. Just kind of follow it, do some curves. You can really do whatever you want. I mean, there are no rules here. Bring it down, bring it over, close line. Next, convert to editable spline, vertices, select all these vertices, right click and go to smooth. Okay, once you have that, go in here using the move tool and just kind of adjust these things until you get something that looks like crown molding. That's just the best way to describe it. Get, try to make the loops as even as possible here. Okay. Big loop is kind of nice. Add a bit. Okay. I'm just trying to follow the lines as best as I can. Looks pretty good. Alright. Next go back into your perspective view here and give it an edit poly modifier which will make it a solid face here go to polygon extrude just extrude it a bit okay select border and cat convert it the entire thing to an editable poly all over again and you now have a perfect piece of crown molding, except it's upside down. So press E, press A for angle snap, rotate all the way around 180 degrees, and now we have it in the right um, place. So there we go, crown molding. Next, let's actually change the unit setup here. Just go to, um, let's see here, US standard. Or I guess you can go to metric if you want to convert everything, but go to, let's see here, decimal inches, okay, and press OK. 
next make a box here change the height to see here 3.5 changes 1 and 1 and if we can find it that is the approximate height our crown molding should be so we're kind of big right now as you can tell so just scale this thing way down Okay, go in the front viewport, match it up. You're just trying to get the height right. Everything else will work itself out. And this is critical to getting the um, scale correct, so make it as best, as good as possible. Okay, there we go. Delete that. And we now have our piece of crown molding here. Let's actually change this color here to gray. And change all that to gray. Which gives us a nice thing to work with. Alright. Let's start laying out the walls now that we have that piece. So, go into the top viewport here. Grid maybe. Box. E should do it on a box. Mm, yeah, make a box. Like so. Now you have one long thing. This is the width. The entire thing is supposed to be 96 inches long, so put 96. Okay. The let's see here, the length is supposed to be four. Orange thick walls, and let's see the height. We'll do that later. I'm not quite sure what that is, but for now, let's just put. Um, let's see, seven feet. Seven times twelve is fourteen, so eighty-four. It's a good number for now. Okay, there's a perspective viewport going on here. And that looks like it could be kind of close. So, now that we have that, convert it to an editable poly. Select this edge here and extrude 4. Okay. Select this edge, extrude 64. Okay. Extrude 4. Extrude 30. So my bathroom has kind of a little alcove, if you will. Extrude 5 this time. Okay, select this. Extrude, let's see here, 35, I believe. Yes, 35. Okay. Actually, do this. Um, do this 29. Apply and then do this 6. Okay. Select. Um, actually, that's. That's good for now. Select this piece here. Extrude 4. Okay. Extrude 35. Go to the top viewport here. Maximize this. Just drag it down to meet. Okay. The vertices here. Line it up as best you can by eye. And that'll be it for part one. I will see you in um, part two.